Hey, so my name is Dennis Delamar, and I'm the director of Black Wall Street American Nightmare, and it's starring Tyler Shaw. And so I'm here, and we just wanted to kick it, just talk about the script real quick. Just talk about um, your thoughts on the movie, and uh, you know, as you know, this is the the centennial of 1921 massacre, yep. and uh, and so this is coming out at a really pivotal time in um, in history. And so, what do what do you think? Cause, cause he's a, he's a character just in real life that a lot of people that uh, is kind of mysterious. You know what I'm saying? Like after the massacre, mm -hmm. you know, he goes to California, and nobody nobody really seemingly hears from him again. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know about children or none of that, right? Cause one of the things one of the things which I'm not gonna give away too much, but in my research and history of O. W. Gurley, he's a very interesting character. Yeah. Um, and we talked about that. I mean, we had that conversation mm -hmm. that night, and we was talking about like the dynamics of O.W. Gurley because he is one of the black elites, yeah, right. And so he has to play. He has to play this. This you know, uh, I don't know. If you want to say game, if you will, mm -hmm. with you know being for his people, but also being about his money, right. And so a lot, a lot of times, that's you know, sometimes you have. Uh, Dilemmas, mm -hmm. right? And so, yeah, going through that thought process in this role, how did you approach that? How did you approach those two dynamics of like wanting to wanting to be for your people, but also wanting to be about your coin? Well, I'll, I'll give you, you know, an example. I mean, it's like it's a classic story of a man, you know, going through a, his parents were, you know, slaves, you know, mm. free slaves, so. Mm. This is a man that, you know, pull yourself up by one's bootstraps, if mm. you will, and that's that's where you get the sh you know the the, mm. the root of it. I feel mm. it just comes from a man who built himself up from nothing. Mm. So that means everything to him. Mm. So uh, currency and everything is currency, and you know that's what that's a lot of pride in that. Mm. And you kind of use the pride aspect to okay. to understand the character. Okay, cool, cool, man. Mm -hmm. Now, now, what was Let's say, what was the most challenging part of playing this role? Um, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, just the content, you know. Yeah. It's hard to walk around like that for five days, let mm. alone your whole life, mm. you know, with that much anger you're seeing in the world. Mm. So, yeah, just the content. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you remember, I think it was about the third, third, second to third day of filming, mm -hmm. and we were filming at Nafee's in uh, North Tulsa and mm -hmm. um, the corner store. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we had, a, we had an incident, right, with the police and, and, <laughs> and, and that, that, uh, that instance. Yeah. What, was your, what was your initial thoughts on just seeing that scene come to life, but also the community reaction to that scene? Uh, scary, no. definitely. Uh, unsure if we were actually going to be able to finish, <laughs> but you know there were car wrecks and everything, so it was it was it was it was wild. It was wild. The police had to come, yeah. the paramedics, yeah. you know everybody. But it it made it feel more real. Mm. It made it feel like we were actually dealing with what we were filming. Yeah, and they actually helped. There was a lot of extras back there. Yeah, they didn't just they didn't know they were extras. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot of buttons being pushed in this film. Mm -hmm. What do you think, like? people will take from it? Mm -hmm. And then why is it important at this time in history, not just Tulsa, but just in the black mm -hmm. community? Why, why a film like this at, at this time? This film is not pointing the finger at one in particular group of people. Mm -hmm. It's pointing it at several, mm -hmm. which that's what I like about it the most. Mm -hmm. It's not pointing it at this person, that person, it's pointing it at everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's a mirror on society. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think people should take from it. They can all learn, everybody can learn something from it. Mm -hmm but they gotta watch it to see. Yeah. You gotta check Tyler out, June 13th and the 14th, playing at the Circle Cinema. Uh, we just sold out of our first screening. Um, you know, uh, the second one's filling up and it's gonna keep going, man. And uh, so you gotta check out this film. Go to greenwoodfilmfestival.com and check it out. And uh, we out of here. Peace. <coughs>